The Gray House in Springfield recently entered into a partnership with Lorraine's Soup Kitchen and Pantry in order to provide food to people in need. Dina Calvanese is the executive director of the Gray House. Michael Chenick is the executive director of Lorraine's Soup Kitchen and Pantry. And they join us to talk more about this wonderful partnership. Welcome, Michael Thank and you. Dina. Nice Thank to have you. you here. Tell us about the Gray House and the programs that you provide. Sure. The Gray House is a nonprofit in the north end of Springfield. We uh, recently celebrated our 30th anniversary. We were started by the Sisters of St. Joseph, and we basically run the same services that the sisters started us off with, which is our food pantry, a clothing program, uh, an after-school program for neighborhood kids, and an adult education program. The sisters very wisely wanted to help people with their basic needs, but also to transition out of poverty, so we couple the education program. You do so much, and all the programs that you provide really do so much to support people in our community that are in need. Yes. And so it's crucial that you exist and help others. Now, Lorraine Soup Kitchen and Pantry, we know how, how important you are, and the, the the support that you give people. Tell us about what you do, Michael. So Lorraine Soup Kitchen and Pantry is located on Pendexter Avenue, right across from Callaway Golf here in Chicopee. Uh, we are celebrating our 25th anniversary uh, this year, and uh, we provide emergency food uh, groceries to uh, roughly 12% of Chicopee's population. Uh, uh, we see up to and over 60 families a day. Uh, we're open five days a week uh, in the pantry, and then we are also a full-fledged soup kitchen at night uh, to uh, up to and over 100 families as well. So I think what we don't realize as community members is we live our lives day to day and we have food in our refrigerator and on our table, but there are so many people who don't have it. And I think it's around Thanksgiving when we're reminded, be grateful for what you have and you can provide food to others. But this is year round that people are food insecure. Mm -hmm. And it's important to, to remind people that what you do is making a huge difference in people's lives, especially in the summer season. Is that right? Yes. With summer, um, you know, people do think of us near the holidays and it's great, but with summer we see higher needs especially with families because the kids don't have access to school breakfast mm -hmm. and lunch programs so that means the parents are feeding them two more meals and snacks when they were covered during school before right so it's a lot more for them to have yeah, to do a lot more expensive right and so you're there to help now I want to know more about this partnership what does this partnership mean so the partnership came about because for a while the Gray House had to temporarily close our food pantry. We, um, a staff person was transitioning and our board decided to take a step back and say, you know, can we sustain this program? You know, the needs are so high, it's getting more expensive, funds are lower, what are we going to do? So we took some time to evaluate and, you know, we started looking at potential partnerships. What would it mean for us to work with another agency that already has been doing this for years as well? has a staff person who's fully trained and maybe could kind of share and how the administration is covered and so we uh, met with the folks at Lorraine and we were so impressed with them from the start as soon as I walked into their place it was so welcoming mm -hmm. and it really had a similar feel to us so as we talked what what's come about is this partnership where they are an independent contractor now for the Gray House we hire them essentially to provide the staffing that we need for for a pantry. However, we're still serving two very distinct geographic areas. Um, we're still having to raise funds for both programs um, independently of each other at this point. Um, but it's a huge help for us to have them doing the staffing piece That's of it. That's wonderful. So you haven't merged your two still separate organizations, agencies that are helping people, but you have stepped up as a partnership to work with the Gray House. Now, this is a, a significant undertaking for Lorraine's. What made you want to do this, Michael? Absolutely. I, you know, our motto, uh, our tagline at Lorraine's is uh, uh, feeding friends and saving neighbors. And uh, the Gray House uh, is is a neighbor of ours. Uh, they're you know they're within f five five to eight miles away. So uh, you know an agency in need. Uh, for us, we just we, we saw uh, you know what we could do to help that need, and one thing that we do really well at Lorraine's is is the food giving out you know giving out the emergency food mm -hmm. uh, under the direction of Ben Holt. He's our program manager. Uh, he just has these amazing systems in place, uh, and we felt that our services could be almost like plug and play into the Greyhouse mm -hmm. uh, system. So uh, the way this benefits both of us is. 
uh, you know, we at Lorraine's we serve primarily Chicopee, uh, Chicopee residents only. Um, however, uh, Dina's organization, Grey House, uh, serves more regionally. So our clients are now also able to get food at Grey House and um, uh, all the other services as well. That's fantastic. So, now, yeah. we're just about out of time, but let people know, how can they support, how can they help? There's lots of ways to support. We're both community-based agencies. We both rely very heavily on donations from individuals in the community, mm -hmm. financial donations as well as in-kind donations of non-perishable food items. We Both agencies certainly need volunteers who are willing to come down and chip in. And There's this is year-round. People can reach out to you for more information. Absolutely. Thank you, Dina and Michael, and I hope that it's a successful partnership. It's fantastic. Thank you. you can visit LorraineSoupKitchen.com and GreyHouse.org for more information. Now I'm going to talk